This video will explain how to make a template for and run the SAP transaction MM02 change material from an Excel worksheet utilizing Process Runner. You can see here from this Excel worksheet that I want to upload the data of several materials and change the corrected gross weight as well as the corrected net weight. I'm going to go ahead and bring up Process Runner. First thing that I need to do, I click on New, and then I enter the transaction code that I want to perform in SAP. In this case, it's MM02, Change Material. I'm going to click Start Recording, and then I'm going to be prompted to enter or log on to the SAP system, the appropriate SAP system. And now I have my views in SAP. I'm going to enter in material 100 to start. And go ahead and hit enter. And now I go to my basic data view, which contains the screens, which contains the views that I want to uh, modify. The fields, change the gross weight 73, net weight 54. And so I'm only wanting to uh, modify those fields, so I'm all done. I go ahead and hit the enter. It's going to save the data that I've entered. And I'm done recording. So what I want to do now is I want to link my Excel file to Process Runner. And you always want to make sure that you have the proper sheet name. In this case, it's sheet one. If you have a different sheet name there, Process Runner is not going to be able to uh, recognize the sheet that it needs to link to. Go ahead and click OK. All right, now we're, we're doing what's called mapping. We're going to map our Excel columns to Process Runner. As you can see here, we have material number and that's column A, which is correct. And here we have gross weight, column B, and then net weight, column C. So those are all correct. I just have the three columns. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, home tab, and we're going to go ahead and run all of the rows here. Now I just click the run. And once again, I'm prompted for the SAP credentials. And you can see here that uh, Process Runner is now uploading all of this material into SAP. Now, the reason this top line says no change is made, the reason the top line says no change is made is because when we were setting up the recording we entered in that data so when process runner ran again you notice that I filled in the fields here uh, 2 through 50 if I would have changed that to 3 to 50 then you know it wouldn't have uh, attempted to run 2 again but as you can see it, it says no changes were made that's because it's when I set up the recording it, uh, it entered the data for those fields. Well, that's it. Tune in for some of our other videos if you'd like to learn more about Process Runner.